now that we've got JSON out of the uh, out of the body, let's talk about how to get data out of the path. Specifically, we want to grab um, a sort of like a path uh, variable. Uh, let me show you what I mean by uh, creating the um, uh, the the request we're going to do. So let's let's imagine we're going to do a GET request here. We're going to go to HTTP uh, colon slash slash localhost port three thousand, and I want to maybe like get uh, get things. Like maybe it's not get things. It would be if I want something more like restful, it'd be like, hey, we have our things, but then we have like an ID. So I want to get a single one of them. So I want to pass in like 15 because that's the ID for this. But this is a variable because it's going to be different every single time. So I need I need to grab that. Obviously, this isn't going to work because I don't have I don't have a route for that. Let's fix that. So Let's add in a route handler for this. So we're going to do a, um, a path variables. Mod path variables and back in. OK, so we're going to have a pub async path variables. We're going to start with this. I uh, kind of need to have the function keyword in there to make it work. Back to mod, and let's now use this. Let's use uh, path variables, path variables, route, path variables. Now, I want this to be something right so if i if i were to do what what number did i do i did 15. so if i just hard code 15 in there that should work right so we should be able to do a get uh, and then the handler is path variables all right let's uh let's double check we get a uh still getting a 404 um I saved everything. So here are path variables. I want a get to path variables. Did I spell everything correctly? Oh, I, I called it things. Let's do path variables instead. There we go. We got our 200 OK now. Um, now let's say I want to extract out what this path is. And I want it to be, I want it to be sort of unknown. I believe I can just do uh, like, uh, ID here. And this should still work. Still gets a 200 OK. I don't have any errors showing for me. So in path variables, how do I now extract that ID? Because we named it in ID with a colon on it. Well, we can use the path extractor. So we're going to do ID here. And your type is path, and then the type of it, because the the ID may or may not be a number. So if we're using a like a, um, a SQL based database with an auto incrementing ID, that probably is just a um, like a U32 or an I32 or something like that. But if we're using like a Mongo database uh, or a NoSQL database, it might like the key might end up being a, uh, a string, like a UUID or some other, other type thing. Um, or of course, it could just be anything in between. Now, in this case, it's a number. So we're just going to say that you're an I32. Uh, let's go ahead and return what that path is. So I'm going to return an I32 here. And I'm going to return the ID. What are you upset about? The treat bound. Oh, it actually doesn't know how to deal with I32s. So never mind. I'm going to return this as a string. And we're going to turn you into a to string. That makes everything happy. Let's head back to our request and let's see if we get this 15 in there. There we go. So we got 15. If I change this to like 155, again, that works. 
Now, what about ordering? Because this is really important if, uh, if we have another route and it, um, it's like very similar to this one, but does it, does it need to come before or after? Like, let's say we have a path variable with a number and we want to just handle 15 completely separately and just, just hard code that in. So that's, uh, I'm going to inside of path variables, I'm going to create another, uh, route handler for this, uh, just for the sake of the, uh, the lesson to keep them together here. So we're going to do pub async function. This is going to be a hard coded path variable. I guess it's hard coded path. Um, we're going to not take in the path ID. In fact, we're not going to take anything in at all because we know exactly what you are. And we're going to turn a string. Uh, we know that this is going to be 15. So we're just going to say 15. Uh, we're just going to say you hit you got 15. Do owned. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this into our route here. So the question is, does it go before or after to sort of hit this and catch it? Otherwise, everything with a number in here will be caught for us. So let's try after first. So we're gonna do, uh, what do we wanna call this? I am calling this hard-coded path. So I'm gonna mirror that here. Hard-coded path, 15. Uh, actually, you know what? I want, never mind. I want this to be exactly the same as that. That otherwise it doesn't make sense. Okay, 15, our service. It's gonna be a get to a, uh, this is gonna be, let's pull you in as a separate function here. Hard-coded path. You are the hard-coded path. There we go. Let's see which one we get. I closed, I closed the request now. So reopen you. All right, so if I do 15 now, we got the U15, we got the U got 15. So if I come back to here and I move this up one, hit save, we'll come back and hit, uh, you got 15 seems to handle it regardless of where it is. We can even just move this up to the top. Still got you got 15. So what this is what this is telling us and just just to make sure let's now add in like 155 again. Oh yeah, we still mirror there. Excellent. So unlike Unlike other backend frameworks in which the order is super, super, super important for this, because otherwise uh, you'll be hitting maybe this route by accident when you really wanted to hit this route, uh, this will actually work no matter what order you want it to be in. It will detect, hey, this path is a better match than this path because it's more direct. It's exactly what you said it is. There's no variables. And therefore, this is probably what you want, regardless of where it is. And so then it's going to run our handler for us. Everything else, as long as it matches, then gets this handler. So hopefully this is helpful in creating path variables and also not being too worried about the ordering of them in the route file. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.